Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sean Rocks 10 Battling over here for you guys today, and today I'm bringing you my WWE Royal Rumble 2013 pay per view predictions. And don't mind the picture, I just thought it was pretty funny. Um, uh, so, um, but <laughs> anyway, um, we got five matches announced four on the regular show and one on the pre show. Um, we got the pre show match Antonio Cesaro versus The Miz. Uh, World Heavyweight Championship last man, st last man Standing Match, Alberto Del Rio versus The Big Show. We got WWE Tag Team Championship Match, Team Hell No versus Team Road Scholars. And we got the WWE Championship Match, CM Punk versus The Rock. And, of course, the 30-man Royal Rumble Match. Um, I'm looking forward to this ma all, this pay-per-view, actually. Um, all of these matches um, are going to be great, I can tell you that right now. Maybe not the Team Hell No versus Team Rose Scholars match because we've seen that a couple times already. But um, but overall, guys, I'm so pumped for this pay per view. Um, I hope you guys are. The Royal Rumble's live Sunday night, um, and I'm just so excited for this. Um, just like the road to WrestleMania has begun, and um, I just hope that WWE can start off the new year with pay per views on a bang. So um, anyways, guys um. Uh, let's get right into my predictions. Alright, so we got the pre-show match. Antonio Cesaro defending his United States Championship against The Miz. This feud has been alright. They just started the feud a couple weeks ago, if I don't recall, though. So, I mean, I don't even know if they wrestled, if they had a match. But, um, but it should be a great match. Maybe they'll give it 10, 15 minutes. Um, I don't see The Miz retaining, er, beating Antonio Cesaro for the United States Championship just because I think that he's gonna like go out like he's gonna um, be in the title picture during the world title picture um, during WrestleMania season time whatever um, I just don't see him winning it I see Antonio Cesaro retaining it um, but I yeah I just don't see them as I like I said I see him going more towards the World Heavyweight Championship after this so my pick for this match would still have to be your United States Champion Antonio Cesaro. Next we got is the World Heavyweight Championship Last Man Standing match Alberto Del Rio versus The Big Show. Um these two put on a great match a couple of weeks ago on Friday Night Smackdown. Um it was actually a Last Man Standing match and it was very entertaining. I um was very entertained um and that's actually when Alberto Del Rio won the World Heavyweight Championship, so that was pretty cool. Um, I like Alberto Del Rio as face. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. I mean, I think he's a great character. Um, I don't know if he would be great at main eventing Mania with the title, but as of right now, it looks like it will be, but something will happen during now till Mania, like Elimination Chamber, something around there. So I don't think he's going to be main eventing Mania with the championship. I just don't see that happening. I can see the Miz versus Ziggler maybe because Miz's face Ziggler's um, heel. So I mean that'd be a pretty cool match. Um, but yeah, I don't know what Big Show's gonna do after this because I don't see um, the Big Show retaining right here. I see him maybe entering the Royal Rumble at, like later on in the night. But um, yeah, so my pick for this match will be Alberto Del Rio to defeat the Big Show for the second time in a last man standing last man standing match. So. My pick for this is Alberto Del Rio to retain his World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, next we got is a WWE Tag Team Championship match. Team Hell No putting their titles on the line versus Team Road Scholars. Like I said before, we've seen this match, I would have to say at least six times. I'm not even kidding. Or at least, yeah, six would be right. But, um, we've seen this match like on Rawls. We've seen it um, on pay-per-views. I think we've even seen it at. So... There's no, no shock here, but I do think Team Road Scholars is going to pick up the win. They got to separate Team Hell No. I mean, it was funny. Like, I mean, it is still funny, but I mean, it's just like they need to move on to other things, if you know what I mean. But um, I like Team Road Scholars, they could have titles maybe till, I don't know, mid, uh, mid May, June, something around there. So. Uh, but like I said, I think Team Hell No has to do something else. Um, but um, I see Team uh, Road Scholars picking up the win and capturing the WWE Tag Team Championship. Um, next we got is the WWE Championship match. CM Punk versus The Rock. And oh my god, this build-up is... 
great. I mean, it's not like the best. It's not like the build up for Rock vs. Cena, but I'm, but um, it's still a great build up. I don't really like how they threw the shield in there. I mean, I understand like the shield, like they're trying to weaken the Rock for his match come Sunday, but I still don't like. I mean, it just uh, doesn't make sense to me. Um, but this match should be great. I think they're gonna give it like 30 to 40 minutes. I mean. This match is going to be outstanding, but I think that The Rock, like, it would just make more sense if he just, like, would have challenged whoever's the champion by WrestleMania time. I thought that would make more sense, but I but I see why they're doing it, because I'll get into that later. Um, but with this match, I, I can see it going either way. I can see CM Punk retaining, or I can see The Rock defeating CM Punk, but I'll tell you that later but if I had to say I'm uh, man this is a tough decision but I'm gonna have to go with the rock to defeat CM Punk yes I know streaks have to come to an end at some point in someone's life you know but um this match should be great um like I said they should give it 30 35 minutes somewhere around there should be a great match they have great feuds so um your new WWE champion I'm picking the rock and then we got the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Um, it's so hard to pick out of these, but I mean, there's a couple guys that I see can winning it. Obviously, my first pick is going to be John Cena. John Cena that he's going to John Cena said that he's going to make an impact this year. That he's going to do everything that he can to win the WWE Championship this year. Um, the other person that I can see winning it is Ryback. I mean, they, I just don't like how they pushed him so fast and so quickly into the like title picture um but i guess i can see him winning it um another person that i can see winning it is dolph ziggler yes i know that he already has the money in the bank briefcase you don't have to remind me but i think that he like if he main events wrestlemania he loses then he can cash in right quickly on the champion again and capture the world heavyweight championship Another person that I can see winning it is CM Punk if he loses against The Rock later or earlier in the night. Um, I think that he would win it and main event WrestleMania to either set up him versus The Rock or him versus John Cena versus The Rock. I don't know how they would get John Cena into the picture, but I can just see that happening. Um, and the other person that I can see coming back, yes, coming back, um, is the Undertaker, because Undertaker's has to be uh, has to be at Mania this year. I mean, he's doing a signing at Access, so I th would believe that he would be at the actual event wrestling someone. I don't know who. Don't ask me who I think, but I'm just saying I think that he would. He could be a possibility of winning the Royal Rumble match. Um, I mean. I don't know if it would be a smart idea to put the title around him or go after a title match, but I mean, who knows what, what could happen in the WWE. But if I had to pick out of those five guys, I would definitely have to, I mean, like the obvious choice would be CM Punk, It only if he loses the WWE Championship. But if it's not that, then I definitely have to say John Cena, just because the way he's saying that he's going to make an impact this year, so, but... Anyways, guys, that's been my WWE Royal Rumble 2013 pay-per-view predictions. Royal Rumble's live Sunday night, and man, I can't stress it enough how pumped I am for this um, Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble is like my favorite pay-per-view, excluding WrestleMania, because WrestleManias are usually oh, good. I mean, some aren't like the best, but I mean, they're usually good. Um, but anyways, guys, um, that's been my Royal Rumble predictions i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope you guys are pumped for uh royal rumble i i know i am um but anyway guys so um rate comment subscribe don't forget to follow me on twitter at deshaunrocks10 and until next time guys i'll see you guys in my next video peace